Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Automatic. Today we're going to Planet Rennie, and in the last part, we beat Planet Nar just barely. I mean, look at our health right now, it's really, really low. So let's get right into it here, yeah, we are on a circus theme park themed level, which is a, a little bit strange considering I don't think aliens would have this going on on one of their planets. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I do actually really, really love this level. It's one of my favorite levels in the game, but I do say that about a lot of levels after all. Uh, these clowns are just firing their bubbles everywhere and it's just, and they explode. They explode when you punch them and it's funny. It's really, f it's comedic, get it? Because it's a circus fiend level. Alright, anyways, um... Yeah, so how's everybody doing today? I'm I'm doing pretty good, and I my voice just cracked like twice. <laughs> yeah, I actually haven't recorded this in a few days, and I'm uh, I'm pretty happy to be recording again. Also, we have new weapons in this level, which is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna fly over here because there is a human we can tend to here. A uh, hairdresser of sorts. Also, I don't know why, but my my. Uh, microphone is uh, is moving all over the place and I'm having trouble uh, getting my ro uh, getting it to stand still because if the microphone moves then my voice changes uh, I mean like the loudness I mean because it's it's getting closer to me and it'll make my voice louder and uh, I don't know if I'm making any sense to you guys I'm actually kind of tired because I'm running off of like three hours of sleep and it's about time for me to go to bed, but yay, I decided to record again because why not? <sighs> yeah, actually it's it's only a little bit past midnight. It's really not bad right now. Um, oh wow, my game is uh, lagging a little bit, huh? Yeah, it's actually not too late right now. It's, uh, it's only one o'clock. <laughs> I said a little bit past midnight, but how true that was, I have no idea. Alright, I'm gonna adjust the volume a little bit. Alright, there we go. Because I am wearing headphones, and I would uh, appreciate it if, if they wouldn't make me deaf. Because I, I do like my hearing. My hearing is a uh, very vital part of my existence. And these, these clowns, when they explode, it's really funny. I really like it. So you guys may be uh, wondering why my voice sounds a little bit different, and that's because I am actually using my mic to record uh, my voice instead of the uh, built-in microphone in my laptop, which really does make all the difference, and I don't know if you guys keep hearing that sliding, ugh, that sliding noise or not, that's just me moving my mic. If it gets too bad, I, I might just re-record this part, but... But then again, if I do re-record this part, then you won't be hearing any of this, so... Yeah, there's that. Anyways, let's go and uh, shoot these clowns. They take two bullets to kill, so that's pretty nice. And this music is just wild. Like, seriously, just wild. It's actually a really, really good song. I really, really haven't pr uh, praised the soundtrack enough in this, in, in this Let's Play. Like, the soundtrack of this game... <coughs> excuse me! The soundtrack of this game is, like, really, really good. Like, I, I, I can't explain how good it is. Like, that's how good it is. <laughs> um... But yeah, like, the, the composer, I don't remember his name. He did a really, really good job with this game. That's, that's all I can really say about that. I don't know if it's the uh, same composer as all the other Pangea Software games, but if it is, then that's amazing because all the Pangea Software games are amazing. Well, actually, uh, most of them are. There are a couple I don't like, but most of them I am a huge fan of. Also, uh, I should have explained this at the beginning of the episode, but watch out for these squares because if you step on one, yeah, they're trapdoors. They tried to pull out all the stops and be uh, uh, comedic in this in this uh, level, but uh, yeah, there you go. Don't don't uh, don't step on those. I mean, I stepped on the edge, and if you just barely step on the edge, it'll trigger it. But like seriously, just don't don't walk in the middle of it. Like it'll seriously kill you, and it's it's really not good for your health. 
really, really not good for your health. Alright, so I'm gonna get this gun here. Also, this is a pretty, pretty long level, so... I know I said that about the last one, but, like, this level actually is significantly longer, I'd say? I mean, I wouldn't say significantly longer, but a good amount longer. Alright, so what we have to do here, uh, this bumper card section here, is actually the gimmick of this level. What you gotta do is you gotta run into all these poles. Yeah, they teach you how to be a bad driver in this game. Um, and you have to deactivate all the poles here, because they are activating that barrier, that electrical barrier there that we gotta go through. And once we uh, deactivate all these poles, that barrier will shut down, and we will be able to progress within the level and actually uh, not meet our doom, but meet our destiny, which might actually be doom. I just realized that. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... Whoa. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty much just testing out my, uh, my microphone for, uh, for this game, for this Let's Play. Because I have been using my built-in microphone, and it does sound a little bit strange, especially on uh, newer technology. Because the laptop I'm using to record this is actually really, really old. And that's because... I, like, the only reason why I'm using this laptop is because this is the only, like, computer I have that can run automatic. Like, after, uh... After... Mavericks came out... Uh, Mavericks stopped uh, supporting PowerPC applications on Apple computers. And that means uh, you can no longer play most Pangea software games. And I am running Mavericks on my laptop right now, but for some reason Automatic still works. But it won't work on my newer laptop, and that's kind of bad. <laughs> I actually really did want to play it on my newer laptop, but it's, it's not, not too big of a deal. Alright, now if you excuse me, my cat is being really bad right now. I'll be right back. Boy, sorry about that, guys. Like, my cat, every single time I go to record, he just wants to be annoying. And I don't understand that, but hey, that's cats for you. I mean, I know I say this all the time, but I still love my cat to death. My cat's name is Zabu. Alright, we're supposed to go in the cannon here and then fly out! Woohoo! Hoo -hoo! Yeah! That's how it's done. Alright. So hopefully I, like, uh, got my mic in a position where it'll actually, like, uh, not move. Because it was actually sliding around a lot earlier, and I was just like, Ugh, stop. But you guys obviously didn't hear me say that because I was commentating. Also, I should probably get that checkpoint right there. Also, I, I killed an enemy back there that looked different, and he also exploded, like, the clowns. Yeah, those things are, uh, kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know their official names. I don't even know if, uh, the enemies in this game do have official names. I mean, that's something to ask Brian Greenstone about, but I, I really don't know. Also, I just saw an atom, like, fly in the air. But those enemies, I usually- yeah, these enemies right here, I call them Huggy Guys. And that's because to attack you, they pick you up, they look like they hug you, and shake you around, and then they drop you. And I'm just like, oh, run away from the huggy guys every time I see one. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's kind of uh, from a long time ago when I used to play this game a lot with my cousin. That was good times. Good times. Yeah. And if you couldn't imagine, this was like my most played level back in the day. Back in the day when I was young, I used to play this level all the time. Alright, yeah, you, you're gonna want to fly over here to get that human, otherwise uh, it'll go to crap. Alright, thank you for exploding, have a nice day. You know, I like when enemies explode, it's, it's kind of funny. And, before I go on, you guys want to have as much flying power as you could possibly get. Flying power is going to really, really help you in this level. There are going to be a lot of areas where there are pits that you will have to do platforming on, and the flying power will help you a lot with that sec with those sections. So, very, very high recommendation for any of you though uh, playing that uh, 
for any of you playing this game with me, geez, I'm, I always have a speaking problem for some reason. Anyways, yes, uh, make sure you have a uh, flying power. Also, you can actually get this game on the uh, Pangea Soft website, or you could play along on your iPhone. I mean, if you guys want to follow along, I know you can't really play this game on Yozumite, or uh, I think that's how you pronounce that OS name. Uh, yeah, you can't actually play this game on that Mac OS because, you know, Power PC app, and I guess this is a Power PC app. But, I mean, you can play this game on Windows, you can play this game on your iPhone, so, I mean, if you guys want to follow along, please do. I mean, I know I'm saying this on level 5, but still. Follow along, it's, it's, it's a game that's worth your time, considering when it came out, and... You know, this, back in the day, this was like the only game, or Pangea Soft was like the only company that made games exclusively for Mac, for Apple. And I found that to be pretty good. I mean, they had some success. I mean, just look at Bugdom. I wish they would re-release that game, but Bugdom was an amazing game. In fact, I kind of want to petition uh, and uh, send it to Pangea Soft to uh, make them remake Bugdom because Bugdom was a phenomenal game. I really, really want to play that for you guys, but I can't. You gotta have like a really, really old Apple computer in order to play that game. And it's really, really unfortunate because that game was my childhood along with Nanosaur. Ugh, I would love to be able to play those games again. Anyways. Let's go and jump across these clouds. Yeah, uh, this is a platforming section, but this isn't the one I was talking about earlier. I mean, you can use flying here, but it's a little bit risky because you could very easily fall through the uh, clouds here. But, I mean, by all means, do what you want. Also, Doctor, you are mine. Doctor! Yeah, I tried to do a heavy weapons guy impression there, but it wasn't really there for me because... My voice is a little screwy right now, I don't even know why. Maybe it's because I'm tired, I don't know. But all I know is that my voice isn't my voice right now. <laughs> Alright, let's kill that clown over there. Yeah, this is basically just a supply route that supplies you with weapons and stuff. And I know I didn't mention this before, but we've got two new weapons in this stage. Uh, we've got darts. You can use the darts to pop the balloons and stun enemies. I mean, you can kill enemies with the darts, but it's a lot harder to do, so I don't really recommend it. And they take a lot of darts, so yeah, again, don't recommend it. Um, and there's this, like, pop gun type thing that kills, like, en all enemies in, like, one hit. Except for the huggy guys, I think they don't die in one hit. But it's a very, very powerful gun, and it has a low ammo count for a reason. In fact, I think you can only find, like, 35 or 25 bullets for that gun in this stage. So, the ammo is scarce. I wouldn't, like, spam it all on one enemy. That would be kind of stupid. Um, all these balloons over here have batteries in them, I believe. But I do want to go over here and get these humans. Uh, there's two humans over here. There's this, this chick right here, and there's a doctor over there. Also a clown. Oh, I'm running out of flying energy or flying power. I really, really should save. Because the flying power is really going to help me out and I really don't want to waste it. I, I have, I've been like unconsciously uh, using my flying power when I don't mean to. Also, yeah, please don't hug me. I would not like to be hugged. You are not in my comfort area. Remember, kids, consent. Follow it always. You always need consent. Consent is our best friend for both men and women. Although mostly women, unfortunately. Anyways, uh, this is not going to be a uh, morality lesson. This is Let's Play Automatic. As much as I love to preach morality on you guys, I don't think that would be very attractive of me. So, <laughs> At least not in this situation. I mean, I'm playing a game about robots and aliens. What do you expect? Morality? What do you expect, like, uh, me to be the Pope? I'm not the Pope. I don't want to be the Pope, ever. Uh, but the Pope is a pretty cool guy, though, so I don't know. 
Anyways, let's kill these uh, flying fish here. Yeah, I didn't me I didn't mention a lot of stuff when I first came to this level, but man, the enemies are so weird in this level. Like, seriously. What were the creators on? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's over there. There's a bunch of clouds. I don't want to find out. I feel like I've flown there over- uh, I've flown over there before, but I found nothing, so I don't know. I don't know. But we shall move on, and life shall move on as well. And we will all be happy. One day. Hopefully. Anyways, uh, I think- yeah, this is just health. But I do want some ammo. Ammo is good for the soul right now. Especially considering that, uh, we were- we are halfway depleted. Alright, there's a huggy guy over there. I'm going to kill him just for the uh, flying power. Alright, come on. Thank you. And this is another new element of this level. This is a jet ski. You get on it, and it goes really fast. Look at this. Look at this crap. Woohoo! Boom. Wow. It killed me. What you need to progress in the level just killed me. What? What? Oh my goodness. Not only did that happen, but I also had an embarrassing voice crack just there. Ugh. Ugh, I need to drink something, man. Like, I need a glass of water or something. My voice is actually starting to feel pretty dry, and that's really weird considering I haven't really recorded anything today. Besides this, and I've only been talking for about 17 minutes. Alright, so let's try this again. And this time, let's not die, please. Please. Thank you. I very much appreciate it, and your patronage. And there was a checkpoint right there, so that's kind of insult to injury right there. Alright, let's be careful. Also, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but, uh, you do not want to step on this gray floor while the poles are activated during any of the, uh, bumper car sections. Because you will die as soon as you touch the gray floor. Yeah, so don't do that. It's highly recommended that you don't do that. It could be very hazardous to your health. And I mean that in a very literal sense because you will literally shatter and explode into electricity. So, yeah. That doesn't sound very good for your health, does it? Yeah, I don't recommend it. Alright, now that I'm done uh, persuading you guys about what you should do with your lives, I will now deactivate these poles. There we go. There's one. And I'm going to go around over here because I like that a lot better. Oh, there are three guys in one area here. Alright, maybe I should have gone the other way. You know what, in, that, in this case, I think it's a smarter idea, because they're like all clustered over there, and they're all like, having a party, like, Oh man, we're getting so drunk tonight, eh. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so, we are going to... Oh, come on! Yeah, I guess uh, a human briefly went on camera, and I didn't notice. And now the saucer's kidnapping it, so that human was kind of, like, impossible to get anyways, so... It's kind of stupid how they do that in this game. Like, if a- as soon as a human appears on your camera, or on the screen, like, whether you can get to it or not, the saucer will come and will kidnap it, so... It's a minor complaint. I mean, it doesn't really take away from the game, considering, uh, you could still finish the level without collecting any of the humans, but... I mean, saving the humans makes makes it that much better. I mean, it adds depth, but all it, do, all it really does is add to your score, so... Yeah, when humans are, are, are worth just a score on a video game, that's when, that's when society will die. And that's when the universe will be a hologram and reality will be an illusion. I love anyone who can get that reference I just made. Oh, let's get the doctor! And they farmer here! Who is not ready to fight? I don't know, I have a really bad heavy voice, so... <laughs> don't judge me! Alright, clown, you're dead. 
Stop being such a clown. Oh, I don't want to get that. I don't want to risk falling off. That would be a very bad idea on my part. Alright, huggy dude, yeah. Yeah, you explode into your uh, lemon powdery uh, mischief stuff. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, a little bit of a technical difficulty there. But yeah, there was just a blue atom just flying around. I don't know if you guys noticed that one. <laughs> Alright, so I got guns. And now we're going to move on over here. Hug you guys, huh? Alright, um... I hate how uh, the auto-aim mechanic locks onto the balloon sometimes. Also, there's a human over there and I really want to get him. Oh, please, 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 please. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that you uh, didn't kidnap that human. Alright, uh, I don't want to go back because the balloons don't really have much of anything. I remember that well because I used to play this level all the time, so... Oh god, you just headbutted me and it almost made me fall off the cliff. That would have been pretty bad. You know, I wonder what is under all those clouds. I wonder if it's like a, a, a gas planet, like Jupiter or something. Alright, let's go over here. Oh god, you're gonna get kidnapped. No, So close. By the way, this was the part I was talking about with all the platforming. Without flying, you will have to jump across all those platforms, and I don't think any of you want to do that. So it's much, much easier to just fly over everything and skip it all. Alright, let's get this, uh, this, this fine, lovely lady there. And let's collect some more, more darts. 65! Oh, there's more than I thought, so there you go. This just goes to show that I'm not always right. Alright, Farmer Brown over there is gonna get rescued by me. Thank you. And you are not going to hug me today. Even though I have not shown it off and I really don't plan to. Alright, 70 darts. Wow, I am really wrong. I am so wrong in the mind. Not really. Y you know I'm just saying that for, uh, for entertainment's sake because I like entertaining people with my mischievous uh, the songs, I guess? I don't know. Nonetheless, we are actually at the end of the level. This, Yeah, this whole section here is the end of the level, and we're pretty much done. All we gotta do is uh, save these last couple humans like that, okay? And collect whatever guns there is to collect, and then just finish it. I mean, I don't really think I'm gonna show off the darts or the super gun. I don't know. I mean, you guys can try them out if you want, but I personally am not going to. I hope you guys don't hate me for that. You're not really missing out on much. I mean, they're just things that kill enemies. I mean, just like everything else in this game, so... Yeah. I think that was the last human, which is a good thing. Uh, I do want to get guns if I can. Anything to fill my ammo up. There we go! Alright, so yeah, we're done with this level. Uh, but there's a box over there. I do want to see what's in there. I have a feeling. Yeah, there we go. I knew it was one of those guns. Yeah, only 20 bullets. I might have missed one here or there, but man, that is not a lot of ammo. Anyways, let's finish this up. Let's go in the ship. Aw, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that was a success, if I do say so myself. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Okay. I don't want to be annoying to you guys. Oh, I'm so excited now because the next level is my absolute favorite level in the game. It has the best music ever, and... You know, you get to do a lot of cool stuff, and I will sh be definitely showing that off. <laughs> Obviously, because this is a, a Let's Play. And yeah, I mean, sorry if my voice sounded a little bit different. Again, I'm using my other mic just to test it out, so... And wow, perfect 100k. That's really nice. Alright, 80 darts. I swear we missed a couple boxes here or there that had more darts or, uh... That super gun, that super brown gun, that looks like a pop gun. 
Alright, laser gun, we were fine with ammo. Uh, we didn't use any batteries. I think there were like 11 in the level or something. I mean, not a whole lot, but not a, not a little either. Oi. Alright, so... Yeah, that was basically it for this part of Automatic. Uh, thank you all very, very, very much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and leave a like if you liked what you saw in this video, and leave some feedback in the comments below. And I will see you all next time on Let's Play Automatic, where we play my favorite level. Peace out, everybody.